capacity. Also, I have to admit that there's a problem in converting the text into a Word document because it's very difficult for the device to understand different handwritings. Having said that, at just about 7,000 rupees, I think it's a very, very good proposition, especially for the education sector, until and unless, of course, our education system allows low-cost budget tablets to be included in secondary as well as primary education. And now from portable writing to portable PC. Touted as being India's first gaming tablet, XPad XQ1 from Simtronix runs on Android 4.1 Jelly Bean operating system, powered by a 1 GHz quad-core processor and a whopping 2 GB RAM besides 16 GB of internal storage. The 10.1 offering comes with the IPS Retina display at 1280 by 800 resolution and supports multiple video viewing. Made in India tablet offers Bluetooth, HDMI and 3G support via dongle for connectivity and comes with a very decent 6000 mAh battery. It also offers 2 megapixel rear and VGF front camera for video conferencing. Now while I can understand why Synchronix is tagging it as a gaming tablet, especially due to its powerful specs, but I have to say you need a lot more than a powerful processor or a RAM to tag something as a gaming device. You need at least one hardware feature like maybe a Nokia N-Gage, Sony PlayStation phone or a Razer Edge tablet. Having said that, at just about 14,000 rupees, I think it's value for money proposition if you're looking for a budget tablet with really powerful specifications. For alternatives, look at the zinc option. And from portable work devices, now moving on to portable entertainment.